Hello, Malta. By now, probably all of you have heard about popular YouTuber... <laughs> popular YouTuber, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Popular YouTuber, quote-unquote, Dave the Useless, allegedly losing subscribers as a consequence of making another video in his beloved Let's Fail It Life series. Oh, but here's what you probably don't know, smartass. It's all a sham. In fact, you could even call it a conspiracy. Fasten your seatbelts because you are in for a ride. Like Mr. Bones' wild ride. Before we begin, there's another conspiracy I have to shed light on before all of this makes sense. Unless you are a fucking idiot. I suppose that you're aware that evil forces have invaded and taken control of our government. Zionist forces. Editors note, by our government, I'm quite obviously referring to the government of America, but there's no other institution in the world that even comes close to being a worthy candidate of being referred to as such. These evil forces have many names. Some call them the Shadow Government. Some call them the Adversary. Others call them the Illuminati. Others may call them the Patriots. Damn the Patriots. And some scholars may even identify them as the Satanists. I mean, Satanists. Fuck. Fuck! <sighs> Shit. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I forgot how to read for a moment. But I think you get the point. What we can all agree on, though, is that these evil forces are corrupting our children with satanic drawing books and proposing and approving legislation that opens the doors to constitutional wrongness if you don't believe me just look it up this is all out there it's public knowledge should there be such a thing common sense my rat's banana oh oh Oh, baby, 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 baby. One such secret change that has just recently been implemented into our Constitution is the government spying on dead people. That's right. If it wasn't enough that they come to our houses and look through our drawers in more ways than one when we're alive, their prying eyes are now also scrutinizing and creepily elated by the dead. Not that there's anything wrong with that. God bless. Okay, now for all of you who possess a pattern-recognizing brain, good for you. Have a doggy biscuit, because those things taste good. The alarm bell should have went off just about now. What's another recent change that has violated the privacy of trillions of Americans? Does the name Larry and David's awesome page for the internet? No, wait, that, Google ring any bells? Balls. That's right. Google Plus's YouTube integration is also one of those new changes pushed through the legislature by the Patriots. It's brought about something that's been unprecedented in the history of the entire internet. When somebody dies, their Google Plus and YouTube accounts die with them. All right, all right. I can hear you all say just about now. This doesn't make even the slightest bit of sense, SpongeBob. What the hell are you rambling on about? But once you find out the truth, you'll be ashamed of your words and deeds. And your deeding. Seriously, put your pants back on. What the hell is wrong with you? Let's get this all over with. This all reeked like a rancid bowl of fish on a sunny day in Camden, New Jersey. That's why I hired a private investigator to take a good look at Dave the Useless for some time. What I found out was truly horrifying. Dave the Useless is not actually who he wants us to believe he is. Here is a shocking fact. Dave the Useless is actually a Republican senator who, in a jealous rage, has been working relentlessly to outlaw both homosexual and heterosexual marriage in reaction to gay marriage being legalized in, um, some states. Albuquerque, what the fuck do I know? Don't believe me. Just take a look at his voting history. 
He's voted for Willard Mitch Romney, a.k.a. Pierre Hado, for the past six presidential elections. Even that one time Romney was still a Democrat. Now that we've established that, there's another thing we can infer. Which party is it that is so adamant about living in accordance with the Bible's teachings? Oh, that's right. Dave is a devout follower of the Old Testament. You might not have known that, but it's true. He refuses to eat ham. Really. He refuses to eat fabrics that are woven by two different animals that are sentient and taught to wove fabrics. Oh, baby disheveled. You could even go as far as saying he follows the Old Testament religiously. And what does the Old Testament say about working on the Sabbath? Well, Iron Man, let me tell you, it's prohibited. Why do you think it is that Dave the Useless never uploads a video on the Sabbath? Are you seriously gullible enough to believe it's all just a big coincidence? <clears throat> all right. All right, honey. Here's the resolution to the story. If you've been following that to you religiously, as you should, you should have seen that Dave had planned to hold a meet and fuck with his fans just last week. He even announced it on his FASA book. However, if you take a look now, you'll find that such an announcement is nowhere to be found on there. Why do you think that is? The skeptics among you already know the answer. Dave the useless is covering his tracks. He even deleted his MySpace. There is no way for us to find out, not even on CompuServe or Usenet or the AOL bulletin board systems, what truly happened at this meet-and-fuck event. It was lost in history forever. At least I thought so. Till yesterday. When a cassette tape changed my life forever. On that fateful day, another cassette tape tape mysteriously arrived in my mailbox. Shivers ran down my spine as I had a creeping suspicion what horrifying truth it could be that I'd learn once I put this cataclysmical tape into the all-in-one home entertainment system. But first, I had to take the NES tape of Wally Bear out of the slot. Oh, what a fun fucking time. Skateboard riding faggot from a family of furry. I pressed play on my power glove to start the tape. The contents of the tape were actually quite concise. The footage was filmed from the perspective of the to-be victim, most likely with the camera of their Nintendo 3DS i. It was a regular interaction between Dava the Useless and one of his subscribers at the meet and fuck. Wow, I never realized that you were of the Jewish persuasion. Are you playing with me? The person with the camera said. Now, why was that important? Why would I lie about something like that? Was it obvious from the get-go? You honestly couldn't tell. I mean, Dave is a Jewish name. Enough talk about that. Well, what do you say? Should we get started, sugar? Pour some sugar on me! <coughs> Oh, I exclaimed, I fucking knew it. Dave was involved in the Zionist conspiracy all along. Back to the video. Give me just a second. There's something I still have to do. They responded. Dave chuckled and asked politely, Well, do you mind telling me what we still have to do before we get started? Like I just said, it takes only a second. I got this new game, and I'm currently working on paying off my loan in-game... All of a sudden, the mood in the room has shifted. You could see Dave the Useless being visibly shaken, with his eyelids snapping up, looking like they were being forced open by an invisible force, to an extent where you would start worrying that his eyes would just pop right out any second. Also, his pupils looked distressingly hyper-realistic. I shuddered. David took off his cap, revealing... Revealing... Revealing. 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 Mm. A crudely drawn, perhaps in MS Paint, and somehow printed 
emblazoned a a, a a picture of a skeleton wearing sunglasses was tattooed onto his forehead. Did you just say no bones about it? David inquired. Why, yes, is there a problem with that? The oblivious but somewhat frightened victim responded frivolously, Oh, I'm going to smoke you, you fucking f- Censored. David the useless uttered with resolve. The next thing I can make out were despairing screams and blood being splattered on the camera. After this abominable scene was displayed on my television screen in all its odiousness, I had to run to the bathroom to puke. After that, I began processing what I'd just seen with my very eyes. Now I knew the truth. What truly had happened? It's a tragic chain of events that led to this. It's almost too gut-wrenching for me to speak out. Dave the Useless never lost the subscriber to that new Let's Fail, Let's Fail, Let's Fail Together at Life video he made. The video was just the front. He lost the subscriber to himself and his homicidal tendencies. Are you next? Are you next? Are you next? SpongeBob. Uh, all I hate is hating because I'm hating and I made it so let's fail together at life. Uh, I see you hate is hating because you're failing and I made it so let's fail together at life. Uh, just get together and wind. We're going to do some research a little at a time. Because all the haters hating because they're playing and I made it. So let's fail together at life. Let's open up Wikipedia. Let's smoke a bowl with Sam. Let's turn this world upside down. We'll turn you into a man by playing shitty games, reading shitty stories, reading good stories, playing good games. Is it okay if I say it's good? Well, we'll hate on it anyway. Huh. All the haters hating because they're hating and I made it so let's fail together at life. All the haters hating because they're hating and I made it so let's fail together at life. Let's get together, unwind, and do a little bit of research, a little at a time. All the haters hating because they're hating and I made it so let's fail together at life. Uh. Respect.